Hey there guys, hope you're doing well. So today I wanted to talk to you about the best VPNs that you can get for your Fire Stick. Because if you didn't know, not all shows are available on your local streaming library. So for example, Netflix is one of the best ways to demonstrate this. I'm looking for this specific show called Bat Couple and it is only available in Korea. So what I would do in this case is simply use a VPN and make it look like I'm coming from Korea by connecting to the Korean server. As you'll see here, once I'm connected to the Korean server, if I go to Netflix, it'll think that I'm now coming from Korea. And once I refresh the site, as you can tell, Bad Couple now shows up and it works exactly the same for Fire Stick. So you just go to the store on your Fire Stick, look up the VPN that you're looking to use. In this case, I'm using ExpressVPN because that's what I personally prefer to use. And I'll drop a link to any of the VPNs that I mentioned in the description below in case you guys want to pick any of those up. But basically, you will connect to the VPN on your Fire Stick the same way I did on the computer. And once you're connected, you can just go to Netflix and look up the show that you're looking for and it will show up. And you might just have to exit the Netflix app if you were looking your movie or show up. It may still not show up if you just turn on the vpn and go back to the app you might have to exit the app or just look up the show again and you'll be able to see it and if you don't all you have to do is just switch to another city in the same country using your vpn or just turn off your vpn and turn it back on because sometimes these ip addresses that you're using and by ip address i mean this number right here which will indicate that you're coming from a specific country in this case again my browser thinks that i'm coming from korea simply because i'm connected to the korean server on express but sometimes these ip addresses get flagged by the streaming service because a bunch of other people are also using it so if let's say a hundred other users try to sign into netflix using the same ip address in order to watch korean drama it might be flagged so in this case I'll just turn off the VPN and I'm gonna turn it back on and I want you guys to notice how it changes the IP address so now that it's on I'll just go ahead and refresh and notice that it will change so it's not gonna be 46 at the end anymore here it'll be 16. So this is how you can tell that you've now picked up a new IP address and you can try finding your show again only if it didn't work the first time. Honestly, with Express, nine and a half times out of 10, it works the very first time and I don't really have any trouble with it. So again, if you're interested in the best VPN for this, in my opinion, it is Express, simply because it's about as reliable as it gets for accessing streaming services. The second most reliable, I would say, it is NordVPN. And Nord has to be one of the best options that you can use, especially if you're looking for the maximum number of one, countries, two, features because you have something called threat protection pro and this is going to act like a little bit of a mini antivirus especially if you don't have an antivirus or if you just want a vpn that's not just a vpn anymore it's just a, an overall cybersecurity tool that is very useful so if that's what you're looking for then NordVPN is absolutely your best option. I just like to go with ExpressVPN personally because it's incredibly light on my system and it runs so quickly. You know, it doesn't have any of these interfaces that NordVPN has or any of the graphics or anything like that. Express is just very bare bones. It's just meant to be a VPN that does the VPN job incredibly reliably. Now there is one more option that works incredibly well for your Fire Stick and that will be, let me just declutter the screen a little bit and that'll be Surfshark. Now Surfshark is going to be the best option if you're looking for the cheapest VPN that you can get without sacrificing on quality. So you're still going to be getting a hundred countries or more and you'll be getting reliable access to all the different libraries. And by the way, the VPNs I mentioned, Express, Nord and Surfshark, they don't just work with Netflix. I'm just using Netflix as an easy example. It works the same way with HBO Max, with Amazon Prime, with Hulu and all the other streaming services. But most people tend to get the VPN for Netflix because Netflix has, generally speaking, the majority of the shows. And a lot of these shows are not available on your local library. So again, Surfshark does a great job at giving you access to all these libraries very reliably. Granted, it's not as quick as ExpressVPN or NordVPN, 
but it's still one of the best options that you can get out there for the price. So that'll be it for today's video on the best VPNs for Fire Stick. Again, all of these VPNs are really good at what they do. It really just comes down to preference at the end of the day. If you're looking for something that is as simple and as reliable and as consistent as it gets, go with ExpressVPN go with nordvpn if you're looking for extra features in a huge selection of countries as well as a bunch of extra features and go with surfshark if you're looking for the best budget option that can get the job done without sacrificing features and barely sacrificing any performance and if you run into any trouble or if you have any questions you can also feel free to drop them in the comments below and i'll get to them as soon as i see them again links to all these will be below and i'll see you guys in the next video